Carl here. Today we're going to get into some animated charts and we're going to go ahead and get started by going and I already downloaded it but let me show you guys how we're going to get to it. So to get to your animated charts you want to go to get more visuals. Once you get this pulled up you're going to see this Power BI visuals. It's going to give you all visuals, organizational visuals, then app source visuals. Organizational visuals will be available to those that have organizations that develop their own visuals. And then you have app source visuals, which is just all the pre-made uh, pre visuals that are open to the public. Now, the visual that you're going to be looking for is the animated bar chart visual. This visual has not received a check mark by Microsoft, but it's okay. It still made it to the app source visuals. Once it hits its check mark, that means that Microsoft has verified that this is indeed a certified visual. So it, that means it's just been tested and, tr and it's a true, a good visual. All right, so we're just gonna click on that. Once you click on that, you're gonna get these animated bar chart overview. It's gonna kind of explain what's going on here. And then the, there usually are some pictures. Um, it gives you this particular picture here. It lets you know if there's a price associated with it, the publisher, and what version it is and the last time it was updated. Um, once you pull this up, you just want to simply hit add. So I'll hit add here. You can do the same. It will just let you know if you've already updated it. You can up, uh, if you already added it, you can update it. Since I've already added it, there's really nothing to update. As you see that the last update was in March. So to get started with this, I'm just going to go ahead and select this visual. And then I'm going to expand it across the window. I'll place it right in the center here. And then you see here we have name, value, period. So if I expand my data here, so we're going to start off with just adding in the product categories. So I'll just add in product categories here. And then my values for this visual will be sales. And then my period will be date. So we'll add date here. And now we'll start to see this cycle through. So note that down here in the right side is numbers counting up, which is basically the day. Now, if we go ahead here and we take this away, now you won't see that because now it's trying to cycle through the months and now the quarters and now the years. So now you see it counting from the years and you see that visual counting up. So it moved kind of quick on that one. And if I come here, just to I'm gonna eliminate the food and spices just so you can kind of see on uh, the more visual effect so we'll just go to format and when you go to format this is gonna say wish you like visualization setting and I'll just come here and this is gonna give you the option to just give me the top 10 if you have 10 product categories or more or give me the top two so if I change this to top two it'll only show me the top two so I'll just leave that at top 10 as the default. The duration here controls the speed. So 1000 speed is the speed that you just saw. So if I change this to 2000, you see that it slows down quite a bit. And I can also change it, give it more duration, which will increase the speed even more. So now you're getting an opportunity to see what that looks like going at the speed of 3000. And I'll just put it at 5,000 and I'll kind of talk through the rest of it. And you can also set it to autoplay. You can turn autoplay off. If you turn autoplay off, it's just kind of cycling all the way up. It's still doing this thing. That's why Microsoft really hadn't verified it because I, I imagine if you turn this off and you would get some kind of feature to play it manually here on the report view visual. But we'll just go here and just leave it on and we'll come here to the font family so again here in the font family you don't really have any drop downs to select through the fonts but you do have the opportunity to increase the font size or decrease the font size so that is what that will look like and you can also you can hide the grid by turning it on you can hide the numbers and you can hide the period which is that and down in the right hand corner you can also increase and decrease the period size by just doing that or just changing the number value either the 30 or i'll change it to 90. Oh, it looks like it maxes out okay i'll change it to 80. and then from the general general tab you can turn a title off 
So we can take that title off. We can also add some effects here so we can take the background away or we can add a background, which means we can kind of change the color. So if we change the color, that's what it look like. And we can add some transparency to it or turn it off. We can also do a visual border around this animated chart. And we can also round the corners and give it a, a border. And we can turn that board off and we can also drop a shadow behind it to make it look like it's floating. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create an animated bar chart from the visual marketplace in Power BI.